Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. It's the Video Gamers Advocate. It's Lando Riggs with a different type of video for you today. This is a tutorial on how to install mods for Battlefield 2. I've had different requests from people watching the channel lately that want to know how to be able to install mods for this awesome first person shooter. And I thought it would be good just to make a video to kind of help you out. It's really, really simple. And for the most part, what I'm gonna show you will work for any mod that you wanna install for Battlefield 2. Now follow whatever link I give you in the description and it will take you to the download for whatever mod you're looking for for Battlefield 2. So we're gonna download the Battlefield 1943 mod right now. This mod is one gigabyte, but also know that some mods can be two gigabytes, three gigabytes, seven gigabytes, under a gigabyte. The size depends on the mod. So after you download it, you then will go to your downloads folder. And typically the way I have my setup, I'll have one side for downloads and then I'll have the other side for the main directory of Battlefield 2. If you do not have a mods folder already, you definitely want to create one because that's where you're gonna be storing your mods. You open up the zip folder, and then you want to drag the Battlefield 1943 folder, just like I'm doing right here, right into the mods folder. And it'll take a few seconds in order for that to copy over. Always remember the mods folder is going to be where all of your Battlefield 2 mods are going to be stored. So let's open up mods. Let's look for our Battlefield 1943 folder, click in there, and there it is. There is all of the files. One more thing that I wanna share with you is that if you go to this AI folder here, followed by AI default, you're going to be able to set the number of bots that you want as well as the bot skill level. And so up here, you see where it says AI settings. Those are the files that actually are going to make the difference depending on what you set. The ones that begin with REM, those are just examples. Those have no bearing on what's gonna happen in the game. So I'm gonna go down here and where you see it says set bot skill and where you see it says max bots here. Those are the ones I wanna change. I'm gonna change max bots to 49 here and I'm gonna change the bot skill to point one which is typically what I like to play at because I'm not necessarily looking for the challenge. I just like having fun when I play these games. So I set it to an easier level for myself. After you change that, we're gonna boot up Battlefield 2. Once the game is booted up, you wanna go to Community, followed by Custom Games. Let's look for our mod, Battlefield 1943. Click on that followed by activate, click yes. Now we are in our mod. Once we get to the main menu here, I'm gonna click on single player. As you can see, this mod has four maps that you can play on. Thinking about maybe doing Wake Island. Let's see here. Maybe not Wake Island. You know, for, for this example, I'm gonna go for Iwo Jima. It's a map that's meant for 16 soldiers on the field. Now remember that we did set it in order to have 49 bots plus myself, that's gonna be 50 different soldiers on the field. And we're gonna see if the settings that we put into that file actually work and come to fruition here. So now the map is loading. Loading actually pretty fast, much faster than it normally does on my computer. Now that we have it loaded up, we now gotta pick our drop point. I'm gonna pick infantry here. And right before we click done, I'm gonna check and see the players. And you can see that we have 49 bots that are present. And now we're gonna drive this, wow, look at that. We're gonna drive this boat. We're gonna get the shore and we're gonna see if we can take this first control point right away to give you a little bit of a taste of what this is gonna look like. But mainly I'm letting this play because I just want to show you that the method that we use to install this mod has worked. We've got the bots. 
we've got the number that we wanted the skill level of the bots is going to be a lot more basic and we're going to go to shore and we're going to go after this first control point here so installing mods is actually pretty simple it's pretty easy for the most part i would advise you to when you download a mod always check out the readme files that are associated with it because a lot of times those are going to answer your questions especially if, if, if it has specific instructions that you need to follow in order to install the mod for the most part all of these mods are going to have the same basic installation as you saw earlier in this video so if you follow that you should be good for the most part with mods but let me know if this video has been helpful leave your comments please subscribe and thank you for watching